So tap technique, personally, I do not like tap technique. I'm gonna teach you about tap technique today. So this is the main branch and this is the side branch. What we do in this case is after wiring both vessels as the step number one, we put one stent in the main branch. Once it's in the main branch, you can then bring the second stent on this other wire. And I'm gonna just change the color of that. So on the second wire of the side branch, you put a stent here. And you just hang a little bit of that outside. Now this, uh, this form of technique is really good if the angle here is 90 degrees or greater than 90 degrees because mini crush will be very difficult to do in that case. Once you brought it in, you ballooned it up, the stent is in. Next step will be so this is the vessel. And we have the We have one stent already in here. And the second stent, like this. The good thing about this is we already have two wires in. Next step is to do kissing balloon inflation. In both of them. So it will look something like this. Now you do not need to have these two markers really overlapping with each other, but enough of the balloon of the side branch should be in the main branch, main vessel that it does not get stuck in the stent. So next is kissing balloon inflation. Once you are done, after that, you just do one part with a big balloon in the proximal section. Now you can do a part which is proximal optimization even before doing the kissing balloon inflation. Personally, the reasons I don't like this type of stenting is because there's always a little bit of stent hanging here in the main branch. And if the vessel size is not large enough, then it can cause problems. I once had an issue that there was a STEMI because of this stent hanging in there and uh, I had to do a CSI or uh, atherectomy of this stent to get a big stent in here. So it, it, it becomes difficult for those cases. The good things about this is if it's the angle is more than 90 degrees, it's easier to place this stent and you don't have to keep on removing the wires in this uh, type of uh, bifurcation stenting. The other good thing is uh, about this is that 
you can have um, smaller stent if the side branch is very, very small. In this, you don't need to have equal side of, size of stent as that of the uh, other side branch or the main branch as well. If you have any more questions, please subscribe to my channel and please ask the question in the comment section. I'll be happy to make videos for you if you have any questions about them. Thank you.